So I've had a lot of folks asking about how do I do some of these composites. So uh, we'll get back to the background at some point, but right now I wanted to show you how I extract the folks from the background. And there's lots of different ways to do that. Uh, typically I would do a select subject, which all I do is come up here and do select subject and it goes in the AI engine will go in and try to select what it thinks is the subject and in this case with this young lady she has she's on a dark background so it did not select the bat here and it missed a little bit of the bat right here as well so what I would do is go into my select object which is right here and select object is part of your quick selection and magic wand tools if it's not then you can always add it in your toolbar but basically I could come in here and press the shift key the shift key means I want to add it to the current selection and I could come in here and see if it will select that bat around your hands and it tried to do it and got a little bit of it but not a great job and then I would come here and do the same thing while the shift is still down select this and see if select object will do that and it did it did select it not a great job but it did select it so we have a starting point here a pretty good starting point and if I zoom in here you can see the areas it didn't select real well right here a little bit yeah right there see it didn't really select because that right there is part of the background this is part of the background so it didn't get the hair real good missed this area right here and if I want to try to remove it I can press the alter option key and come in and try that and see if it'll subtract that which it did so it didn't do a bad job now it also subtracted her bracelet here so if I want to add that back shift and see if it'll add it back without any problem so I did add it back so this is a good starting point but we do have this hair right here that's going to be a problem so what we could do is let's go around the rest of her got a little bit of the number here that's not there so I could do shift and let's see if it'll select that part of the number and it didn't do too bad if I go down here keep going down to the bottom it's got her shoes there's a little bit of space there what to deal with a little bit of the terrain right there the grassy artificial grass here and same right here but they're not too bad did pretty good down here but it's going to need some touch up if you want it to be really good so the biggest issue though is this hair right here so now you could go into select and mask which if you just select 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 and mask down here or you could do uh, command option R or control alt R and it takes you directly into select and mask and when you do that you've got all these options over here to deal with I'm not going to go through those right now but if you have you know once you go through and set these up the way you like them then I would just come in here and use this first tool which or the second tool I mean which is the select and mask tool or the refine edge tool and come in here with my brush and try to just kind of paint over that hair right there and see if it's going to give me a pretty good selection so this I, I kind of have a it's a hit or miss for me I'm gonna come in here and see if I can do the same right here not too bad it's beginning to look pretty good come in here and do the same thing and it's learning this as you can see reevaluates every time I come in here and do this so what I've already done gets reevaluated as well as what I'm working on so not too bad it's coming in here and painting over this and there's going to be probably a little bit of edges that's going to have to be dealt with when we're done a little bit right here I think and that's, that could probably be stay dark because that could be just shadows back in her hair so I could leave that but I want to come over here and try to get rid of that and I just keep coming in here and painting around on it till I get something that looks halfway decent and there's a little bit of darkness in here but you know she's on a dark background so blonde hair against a dark background is going to leave some kind of edges unless 
um, unless this oh that looks pretty good right there I'm gonna leave that alone then uh, back here in the back did pretty good with her hair uh, I'm gonna just a little bit of touch right there try to get take care of that and then there's a little darkness there but I'm gonna leave that alone so when you're done here this actually looks really good I think you got a little bit right here, but you can do, you can fix this rest of it. I usually just do the hair in select and mask because that's, I can do better, I think, on these kind of edges back in, in the regular workspace screen. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to say that's acceptable and I'm going to click OK. And now you come back over here and you can see that the hair actually looks really good against this kind of a, a background. I could bring some of that hair back, but I think I'm going to leave it alone until I put it against the background to see what it looks like. So what I can do with the rest of this though, is I can fix the bat up here and her feet I think look really good a little bit right here maybe and then this little space here probably not noticeable one thing I learned from um, Joel Grimes was you don't have to be perfect you just need to be good enough to sell the fake which is basically what we're trying to do here we're trying to put her onto another background to make it look like she was there all along so that's selling the fake so you don't have to be perfect and I keep telling myself that but I still try to be a little bit more perfect than I should so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the R key for rotate and I'm going to rotate her a little bit around here I just do better painting this way than I do uh, straight across so I'm going to get my brush I'm going to make it smaller I'm going to make sure that it's not too soft it needs to be fairly hard so around 65 70 percent like that and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get this bat back here. I want to paint on the mask and I want to paint with white because I want to bring back the bat. So I'm going to switch to white as my foreground color and I'm going to press the shift key and I'm going to click here and then I'm going to come down here and click again and it gives me a straight line when I do that. So I'm going to do it again right there and then we're going to do it again there to just bring it back and then I'm going to click over here on the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing and basically I'm going to switch back to black and I'm going to round this out I know there's probably more on the end of the bat but I'm going to make this the end of it just because it's easier so just kind of make it around it out there on the edges so now I have the, that part of the bat back so now I'm going to zoom in here whoops sorry wrong key there zoom in her hands and make sure I can get it the way I want it. So I'm going to bring my my brush down a little bit and I'm going to paint with white again because I'm going to bring this back around her fingers there and I think that this is okay. It's this right here that needs to go away. So I'm going to get rid of this little strand of hair here along with that part of the background. So I'm going to make it smaller. Paint with black get rid of that little part of the hair and I'm going to come in here like this and we're just going to come in like this and get rid of this little darkness right here and from a distance you're not going to know any difference so then I'm going to turn it back around back on the rotate and we're going to look at it and see if it looks good now we have a little darkness right there so I'm going to come in here again with the brush and I'm going to try to just make that look a little bit more natural so something like that just to kind of get rid of that it's not much and I could go at like 50 percent and get oops, a little too much there let's go at 20 percent just kind of get rid of some of this dark stuff here so it doesn't look so much doesn't jump out at you okay and then we have this area down here do I really want to mess with that I think that's something I should have done in Select and Mask, but I'm going to leave it alone for here. You also have some darkness up here. I'm going to go to 10% and just kind of soften that so it's not so much. So I think this does pretty well for her. So the next thing I'm going to do, the last thing to have her cut out, is I'm going to feather the edges. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to command or control click to get the, the you can see I've got the selection back on her and what I'm going to do is come up here to select modify feather and I like to feather about two pixels usually so I'm going to go two pixels then I actually have her selected but I want the background selected because I want to take it off of her edge so I'm going to do a command shift or control shift I to invert the selection you can see now that I have marching ants around the outside of, of the image here it's because everything but her now is selected so I'm going to come in here with my at a hundred percent with black and I'm going to paint everywhere except on her hair because I don't want to feather her hair the select and, mask, select and mask has already done that pretty well so I'm just going to feather around the edges of her and what that does is it gives a little bit of a blend into the background you could go in here and a lot of folks do and, and I, I did for a long time come in here and do a blur around once I place her into the image do a blur around her edges just a soft blur to get it to blur into the background but I find that the feathering here works really well if you come in and look you can see if I'm going to zoom way in here so you can see see how that's kind of feathered the edges here there's kind of a soft edge that's what I want and I could actually do it even more but I think two pixels is about right actually so that works pretty well to get her blended in and I think that's as far as I'm going to go we're going to do another one and I'm going to show you an alternate method that I think works really well as well.